Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great start to your Thursday. Already seeing temperatures climb pretty quickly out there, all thanks to the sunshine as we take a live look at our Mercy Health Sky Track camera over beautiful downtown Rockford. Just got a few passing high clouds, otherwise, plenty of sunshine over Rockford this morning. In fact, much of our areas are starting out with sunshine. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s out there, 71 right now here in Rockford, 70 up in Janesville, 71 as well to our south in Rochelle, 67 out in Freeport and 68 degrees up in Monroe. Now this morning we were off to a slightly cooler start, but it also felt less humid out there. Dew points for the most part were in the low to mid 60s where they currently are right now, and it's going to lead to a hot afternoon as temperatures climb into the low 90s. But with those dew points still in the low to mid 60s, it's not going to feel as humid as yesterday, but overall a pretty dry start out there. You can see most of the cloud cover and activity is uh, towards the Mississippi River. You can see a couple of light sprinkles and showers moving over Carroll and Whiteside County, moving westward into eastern Iowa. But thanks to a high pressure system over the Great Lakes region, we are starting off our morning pretty dry and with some sunshine. Now this high pressure system is going to be in control for the forecast uh, today and also into the night tonight. We are going to see more sunshine into the afternoon, but also those high temperatures in the low 90s. So let's take a look at future cast. Not much to see for the day today. We are going to stay mainly dry into the afternoon and evening. We do keep a chance for uh, a, sli a slight chance, I should say, for an isolated thunderstorm this evening. With that heat and humidity, a uh, cumulus cloud can bubble up into a shower or thunderstorm, but odds of that are pretty slim for today. We are going to stay dry into the night tonight. As I said, highs in the low 90s today. We are going to cool down into the upper 60s by tomorrow morning. We are going to continue to stay dry overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies. And like I said, a mild start to the day tomorrow. It's just going to lead to another day with highs in the low 90s. But tomorrow afternoon, we have a better chance for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. You see all of this activity coming down from central Wisconsin. So I think after 4 o'clock, we should see our chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Now, this heat that we've been seeing the past couple of days and what we're going to see into the 4th of July weekend is all because of this massive ridge of high pressure that has overtaken the central United States. And with that ridge going all the way up into the southern Canadian prairies, that allows all that warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and the deep south to move northward. And that's why Tuesday and Wednesday we saw highs in the low 90s. That's going to continue into the 4th of July weekend. You can see 92 for Saturday, 91 on Sunday, but it's not record breaking heat as we had 102 back in 2012. 1202 also uh, for our record high for Sunday and then 104 uh, for the record high on Monday. Now this 4th of July we're going to see highs in the low 90s. Once again we're going to keep a slight chance for a thunderstorm but much of the holiday is going to be staying on the dry side. Now looking past the 4th of July weekend we are going to get our best chance for thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday continuing with low 90s for highs. Back to you. All right, we